Hello Floss Tube, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my stitching and quilting series here on YouTube. This is Floss Tube number 33. It is February 5th, 2023. I had to think about it for a minute. January just flew right on by. Um, I'm actually filming this on Sunday <laughs> and it's going to come to you Sunday evening. <laughs> um, some weeks just be like that. Um, I hope everyone has had a wonderful stitching week this past week. I know I have. I did not get my finishes done, my FFOs done to share with you. So next week is going to be a big FFO party because you can't see it because it's on the other side of this. <laughs> My desk is completely covered with partially completed, uh, fully finished cross stitch projects. Um, my button tutorial, I did not get put up this last week. That will go up Tuesday. That is going to be what? Tuesday the 7th? Is that correct? Um, whatever Tuesday is. So look for my button tutorial. It'll go up at 7 a.m. on Tuesday. I'm excited to share that with you. And of course, you're going to get to see a preview of some of my fully finishes then. Um, I just want to put that button tutorial up before that. Um, so anyway, I hope everyone has had a great week. As I mentioned, I do have a couple things that I want to go over. Um, and then we're going to dive right in. First things first, I do want to talk about my Facebook group, my private Facebook group. We've had a ton of people join. I'm sure it's for the More Chocolate Bunnies Sal that will be starting next Monday, the 13th of February. Welcome to everyone. I'm so glad that you are joining. Um, I do want to talk about a couple of little things. Um, if you are already in my Facebook group, you know this, that I added moderators. Uh, Karen and Shari have agreed to help be admins and moderators and things for the group because I had noticed that a spammer had got in. And I was so confused about that because up until that point, I believed that I was approving everyone who was in the group. I'm not, or I wasn't. I am now, the three of us are now. Um, there are so many settings. I guess if you run a Facebook group, you probably know this. I don't know if, if it's just the default to allow anyone in the group to approve other people, but that's what was happening. And I did find I, what I, who I believe was the culprit who let in some people because there were some questionable posts that got flagged um, by Facebook, actually, and then a post that got flagged by Karen. And when I dived into it, it looks like the same person had admitted all of those people. So um, I removed them. Um, I hate doing it. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. So if it was on accident... Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sure you can try to get back in. But with the Facebook group, I also want to say something that the three of us have noticed. Um, you have to answer the questions and you have to agree to the group rules. And don't just agree to the group rules and not read them. <laughs> Please read the group rules. So there's a couple of things. Um, I, I know I'm probably being a little picky, but for me personally, um, it is my group. So I know how I like to look through it and I want to be inspired by stitching. So a couple of things I've noticed um, that I just want to want to reiterate here so you're not surprised when you join the group is number one, there is absolutely zero linking outside linking. Um, if there's any linking done, it will be me or a moderator um, because the moderators know what can and cannot be linked. Um, this is an extension of my business um, because it is my name and it's an extension of my, my business page, uh, even though this is my fun group. And because of that, I keep it just me and just my linking. If you ever have a question about that, feel free to message us um, and I would be happy to let you know if it's okay or not. But just know it's, it's probably not okay. Um, if there's any links provided, it's going to be me. If your post gets deleted, please know that it was because there was a link in it. Um, that's number one. Uh, number two is that uh, there is no, please don't add the thank you for adding me posts. Um, I Just for me personally, I don't like to scroll through those and see them. And so I have made that one of the rules and I've noticed that. Um, so if that got deleted for you, again, 
it's nothing personal. Uh, please share all of your stitching. Um, in fact, if you want to say, you know, well, I'm new here and here's some of my stitching, please do that. We want to see it. Um, that is really it for that as far as that goes. Um, I just wanted to kind of talk about the, the spam and how I dove into it this week um, with my moderators and we kind of looked at it and took a really hard look at what had been happening previously. And that's kind of how we figured that out. So good times. <laughs> Next thing. Um, I got lots of messages from you guys that uh, the spammer bots are back in last week's YouTube video. I believe I got all of them. Um, I block and report. Uh, I blocked and reported all of them. It should have got rid of all of the comments. Um, I know several of you reported them and then a couple of you thought you won something. Please know I am never going to leave a comment on your saying to message me at something weird. This last one had my last name spelled incorrectly. They take, they steal my profile picture and all of that. Just don't give them any information is what I'm telling you. And this is happen happening all across um, YouTube. I don't watch all YouTube videos, so I can't tell you if it's everywhere. I watch a lot of floss tube. And I know that it's happening to a lot of the floss tube channels. It is super frustrating. Um, but just let me know if I don't catch it. I do go through and I go through right before I film and kind of make sure that I've read all the comments. Um, if there's questions, I try to pull those out. And then, um, you know, making sure there's nothing funny going on. The other comment is there are some comments that look like they are from men. They are targeting women, um, you know, trying to get you to message them back. I would say uh, don't do that. I, I don't think that that's the, the correct dating app. <laughs> um, I don't want anyone to get taken in or give anybody information. I don't know what they want. I try to delete all of those as well. And I noticed that there was a guy thinking, thinking he or or someone. I'm assuming a guy, but who knows, trying to get people to message him back. So please, please be aware that there are some people out there that are not, not on the up and up. Maybe that's how I want to say that. Um, the next thing is I do want to just mention all of the links to anything I talk about will be listed below if I have a link. If I don't have a link, sorry. <laughs> I try really hard to have links for most everything, but you know, sometimes, and if I miss something, definitely let me know. I will try to grab that. And there are timestamps below so you can jump to the things you're interested in. Today, I've got a little q and I have got some, I have a lot of talk about sals um, that are going on. If you're not familiar, sals are stitch alongs. Let me look at my my little itinerary. I have a I typed it up good today. <laughs> uh, I have a whip new, slash new start, which is also a freebie chart. So I want to talk about that. I want to talk about upcoming sales, and then the last thing I have some a little like save the date for a retreat coming up. I want to mention. Um, and it, just a few little random things. I did not really pull together haul. I don't really think I had a lot of haul this week. I think I maybe got a couple things, but I know for sure one of the patterns I got is sold out. Um, I'll probably try to just talk about those at a later date, uh, maybe next week. Um, I have quite a lot of stitchy mail, so we'll do stitchy mail today. And then I've got some giveaways plus some new giveaways this week. So... Uh, we are going to dive right in. I only have a few questions. Num the first question is from Marlene and on the pillow, the always pillow from hello from Liz Matthews, the freebie I shared last week. Uh, she said, is it one over two or two over two? So I did stitch that on 36 count Duxbury fabric. And usually on 36 count, I only do one over two, meaning one strand of floss over two threads. Um, but I did do two over two. The pattern calls for two over two. I think it really depends on fabric. The Duxbury fabric took the two over two really, really well. Um, because that pattern is... I wanted it to really be prominent and stand out. It's the word always that with the arrow at the end, I should have pulled, brought it in here, but I forgot. Um, 
I did do the two over two with Classic Colorworks Black Coffee. So I hope that helps. I think it really is going to depend on your fabric. Some fabrics have a much tighter weave that Duxbury does not. And it was very forgiving and it was very easy to stitch two over two. I was a little nervous because I usually only do one over two on 36, but it worked really, really well. Caroline, I have a question for the Sal giveaways. Are you doing it during lives or Facebook posts and or both? Um, that will be announced when the Sal starts, which is next Monday, the 13th. Um, so you will have plenty of time. It's not going to be something where I'm like in a live and say, here's the giveaway and you have to be right there and do that. That's not how it's going to work. I'm still working out the details and all of those will be released when the Sal actually starts. Phyllis, do you print the charts at home or at a printing service? Uh, any PDF charts that I have, I print at home. I have a laser printer. Um, I have a brother laser printer. I gave her a link. I think there's a newer one available now. The one I bought, I bought in 2021. I love it. I use it all the time. Uh, but also keep in mind that I do run a business out of my house. So um, I, I need a good printer. Um, and it works good for me. It is a color laser printer. I did have a black and white laser printer before, which only printed black and white, which was okay. I mean, I used it still, but it was kind of a bummer if you want a color color chart and you want the paper chart. Um, but I didn't buy it just for that. I bought it because I needed a color printer, but it works great. But I'm, sh I'm sure you could have it done at a printing somewhere that prints stuff. I, I don't know. I've never done that. Okay, that's it for questions. As I mentioned, I have no FFOs and no, no real like, like a individual finish. I do have a finish, but it's part of a cell. And you'll see that first up. So let's go ahead and head into the cells portion of my video today. And the first thing is, it might be the year of stitching hands on design. I don't know. <laughs> It seems like, I mean, I started this last year, but I have a lot of things from Kathy that I want to stitch. And I this is completely unrelated, but I realized I was going through some emails this week. I never printed off the charts I purchased from the Jingle Ball. And that was like the beginning of December. So two months later, I printed those off. And, and I think I only bought charts from Kathy, actually, from that. So, um... Great. I added those to my binder. I didn't bring them in here because I I think some of them might be available, but I want to look into that and then I can talk about it next week. So my first, and that was my tower just about went flying off. The first thing is I am stitching along with Fat Quarter Shop in their hands-on design season two, a year of celebrations. So there is a year of celebrations one and a year of celebrations two. I am using Kimberly's colorway as far as floss goes. So there is a pack, uh, Kimberly Jolly at Fat Quarter Shop picked um, some maybe brighter colors, not quite as muted as what you might see on that chart cover page. Um, and I picked up that pack to stitch my year of celebrations. I am a little behind. Um, I stitched July, August, and September. October and November did not get stitched yet. Uh, I decided to pick up December and I stitched it up quick this last week. Let's not knock everything off. So I did do that. Let's just. So I stitched December. It is so pretty. December was one of my very, very favorites. Uh, I did have to rip a couple things out. That's why it took me a little bit longer. Um, so December is one of my favorites. I'm going to show the whole thing really quick. I'm stitching on 25 count Prim Lugana. I am stitching mine all as one piece. You can see the border there is Tropical Paradise from Classic Color Works. So here's what I have so far. And I posted this on my Instagram saying, what should I stitch? And someone said to stitch March, <laughs> but I'm going to stitch January or February. Those are the two choices for right now. I probably am going to go ahead and stitch January. It's the snowman. I don't think it'll take very long. And then I'll do February. And then I'm going to go back and catch October and November. Um, and 
I may not get to them this month, but I do want to get January and February done this month. So that will be one thing I work on, but I did work on this this last week. I stitched up my December. I love this. And when I stitch on it, I love it so much. And this is going to be, I am going to get this professionally framed at my LNS when I'm finished. And it's going to be one of the first things I've had professionally framed for a very long time uh, since I came back. I do a lot of finishing myself, but I want this as one nice piece framed up. So I am using the called for classic color works from Kimberly's color pack, 25 count prim Lugana. And um, I know I mentioned I was going to start doing this and I forgot last week. I'm going to put across the bottom of the screen here the hashtag to follow on Instagram and on social if you want to see inspiration. And it is a year of celebrations too. And if you follow that hashtag, you can see um, anyone who tags that on social, you can see what they're doing. Because some people are stitching these as one piece or, or individual pieces. Some are stitching it as one piece like I am. Um, and it's really, really fun to see all of the different um the different stitching. I know my friend Shari is stitching them as individuals. I love I love seeing that. I've seen uh, several in my Facebook group also are stitching them. It's really, really fun to see. So that is my first sal that I worked on this last week, um, like start to finish that one. So that was, you know, a couple of evenings and then me pulling out some stuff. I'm glad I had started stitching it and then I went to start back stitching and I'm like, why are my windows not lining up? And I had missed a whole row of solid house. It's, it's fine. I ended up having to like restitch most of the upper part of the house or the inside. It's fine. It happens. Okay. The other thing I worked on this last week is I am doing the sal hosted by uh, Jessica the Sweetwater Stitcher and Mrs. Jones Stitches. They are doing the Big Hearted Tiny Town sal. I mean, I think it's still going on. Maybe it's over. I have not got mine stitched. I had intended to monogamously stitch this this week and I did not get that done. That's okay. I do still really want to get this done before Valentine's Day. Well, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Uh, the hashtag for this is Big Hearted Sal, and I'll have that right here on the screen if you want to follow it. This is one of my favorites. I'm stitching mine on 32 count powder pink splash Lugana with all the called for threads, and here is my progress. Um, I did get like um, all of this house and I started moving on stitched. I still have the smoke coming out of this chimney, but I started my heart up here. I know I didn't do the heart in the chimney, and then you can see those little spots in the roof here. They're the same color, and I'm thinking, let me look at my chart down here. Whatever color that is, I feel like it gets used again somewhere. And I was just going to stitch it all at once. I think it's just some more smoke coming out of the uh, chimney of the last house. Anyway, so I did make a little bit of progress. I got most of the house done. I have a little back stitching to do on the windows. And then the arrow, that heart up in the air, is another arrow, which I love. Um, it, this is a joy to stitch. And I do think I'm going to finish mine into a drum. Uh, Zheng in my Facebook group, she finished her, she did a drum for the first time and I'm like, oh my gosh, it was amazing. So I'm excited uh, to get that one finished up too. I love it. All right. The next sal that we're going to talk about just started Friday the 3rd, and that is the Fat Quarter Shop Love Potion Mystery Sal. This is a four-week sal with Fat Quarter Shop on the Fridays um, during the month of February. Um, each week, a part of the chart will be released. This was release one, so it's like that first little quadrant. It's broken up into four quadrants. 
and I am stitching along with them. I chose to use the exact Classic Color Works floss that they're using, but I did decide to stitch mine on 36 count milk and honey. I was going to do powder pink splash Lugana and I have plenty uh, the 32 count, but then I decided I wanted to do one strand on the uh, milk and honey fabric from fiber on a whim. And you guys, I love it. I actually started on a different color and I didn't like it. It was too, it had too much of a green undertone. I love this milk and honey. It's like just the right color of I don't know, kind of that crafty color, but a very light crafty color. But I think it's going to be super, super pretty. I don't have the whole quadrant duck stitched quite yet. Um, I've got, I think I did, let me look. I did all the hearts and the bird, and then I'm starting the stopper. I'm sure you can guess it's a bottle. <laughs> uh, the, the chart is a love, isn't it? Love, it is love potion. I want to make sure I'm saying that right. Um, so I'm using one strand over two on 36 count milk and honey Lugana and it's beautiful. It's really pretty. I, I love these colors on this color of fabric. I didn't iron it for you either. I'm sorry. And here are all of the colors. Look how pretty. I just love it. Now I'm going to keep these colors out because I'm actually using them on something else. I'm going to show you. I'm really, I want to say bad about that, but maybe it's good about that. Um, if I'm stitching something, a lot of times it's a freebie chart. I will just use the same colors that I have out for another project <laughs> instead of going and pulling something else. Oh, I want to mention for this, this is the, um, be mine sal so i will put this right here on the screen um, if you want to follow along um i wasn't sure what i thought about this but now that i'm stitching it and i i picked a color of fabric i like i love it uh, it does have a really fun border and i'm excited to get stitched around so you guys can see what it is it's really fun anyway so i am stitching along i hope to kind of have that caught up by the time I show you next week, we shall see. All right. I have not started the next sale yet. Uh, I was waiting on some of my floss to show up, but I have picked my fabric and I do want to talk about it. So my friend Chantal of 141 Design is hosting the Hands on Design Mad for Plaid sale. I know this chart is selling out a lot of places. Um, I know I mentioned that my LNS uh, Hearts Desire in Wichita, Kansas, they had some of these. I think that they were out, but she said they were ordering more in. Um, and then I know, uh, I think Chantal got a delivery of them. I need to look and see if she has some in her shop, if she still does. But just sign up to be notified. Sign up through Fat Quarter Shop. I know they're, they keep reordering as they sell out, but I am going to be stitching the along with this sal. And I am going to use the Cosmo floss. There is a DMC conversion in the chart, but it is, um, okay, so the Cosmo floss can be kind of hard to get. I'm waiting on some colors. Here's what I've got so far, and I did pick my fabric. This is charcoal gray 32 count Lugana, and I love it. I think the colors are going to really pop on it. I need to get these all on my floss keeper, but... Again, I'm just waiting on a couple colors of floss. It's terrible, but I kind of hunt and pecked around to find the floss. I ordered from several different places. I did not really want to do that, but I did want to get my floss so I could start stitching. So that will get started this week. I'm very excited. I'm going to start with spring. I think the spring is the one that um, Chantal is starting with, and that's the one I'm going to start with too. That's why I said I feel like it's the year of, of hands-on design. I'm doing a lot of hands-on design. And this one is called the 141 Mad for Plaid Sal. All right, we're going to move to the whips slash new starts section and I only have one this week and it actually is um, a new start. This is a free chart from Silver Creek Samplers Do Everything in Love. 
it is so cute. My friend Shari already finished stitching it and finished it. Um, it's absolutely adorable. And I am using some of those same colors from the uh, Love Potion from the Be Mine Sal for this. I'm using, I wrote down, Ribbon Red, Strawberry Parfait, and Little Pink Peony. And I am stitching mine on 28 count Mushroom Lugana. And that's where I'm at. This is an hour and a half of stitching. And so far I've only done the Ribbon Red and Strawberry Parfait. There's a few little tiny hearts scattered throughout. They're going to be the lightest pink color. I'm doing two strands over two on the 28 count. And it's beautiful. I'm really excited. I think I'll have this one finished up really quick too. I was not going to do another chart. I saved a lot of the freebie charts kind of in my to be done stash, but I just jumped right on in for this one. So it was kind of nice to have a new start. I think it's going to be super, super pretty. And a couple things I want to mention about this. Um, I know it's free, but I, I try not to show any of the charts here. You can find this in the Silver Creek Samplers Facebook page. Um, I will put a link down below that will take you to the Facebook page. Not this exact post. You're going to have to scroll through and find it yourself. Um, I don't know how to link directly to there. But she also just started a Facebook group and do a search for it. Stitchers of Silver Creek Samplers. And I will just put a little thing up here of what to search for. And you can uh, get inspired by other charts other charts from Silver Creek Samplers, which I think is awesome. So uh, definitely check that out as well. And again, isn't it pretty? I said this last week, the Valentine's freebies are amazing from the designers. They have just really uh, brought, brought it so many fantastic Valentine's charts. So thank you to all the amazing designers out there. Okay, the next section we're going to talk about are upcoming sales, including the one I'm hosting, which is the More Chocolate Bunnies Sal. That is the hashtag you can use. And this is the chart. My chart came from Kathy. I did get the paper chart. Um, there's a PDF available as well. The paper chart comes with the little white buttons for the bunny tails. The PDF won't, but you can... You can leave them off, you can purchase them separately, you could use pom-poms, you could stitch them. I've mentioned this um, previously. There's a lot of ways to get around that. So that is what the sal is going to be. I am going to be stitching mine with the called for Sulky Floss. I have never used it before. I know a lot of people have asked a lot of questions. This is going to be new for all of us who have not stitched with it. There is a DMC conversion in the chart, plus in my Facebook group, I do have a list of the DMC colors if you kind of want to look at that. Um, stitch with DMC if you feel like it too. That's totally fine. I did order the called for fabric. It is not here yet. I'm trying to decide if I want to stitch it on something else. I may have to do a tester before we start next Monday to see, um, but uh, once the fabric gets here, I'll know better. But this is what we're going to stitch. I do want to mention a couple things. Um, Kathy at Hands On Design mentioned that she has another Easter spring chart, the Hop On In chart, and this chart uses the same sulky floss color. So if you do pick up the sulky floss and you're loving stitching with it and you want to stitch something else with it, it uses all but two, I believe, of the colors from the More Chocolate Bunnies chart. Thank you to Kathy for sending this because I'm going to stitch this one as well. And she's so amazing. She made, this is the paper version, but she uh, made the PDF version and added that to her website. I have a link down below. So if you want to pick this one up uh, in PDF and stitch it from your iPad or print it out, you know, enlarge it, whatever the case may be, you can do that. So thank you to Kathy and thank you for letting us all know that it uses the same floss because I like, hey, all the all of the spring or Easter stitching because I have none. <laughs> Zero. So I'm here for it. 
So that is the first sow that's coming up. I think I have talked about all of that. I've put the hashtag on the screen already. The second um, stitch along coming up, I just want to mention again, I know I've mentioned it the past two floss tubes, is the Fat Quarter Shop Bountiful Stitch Along. I, um, the hashtag is Bountiful Sal, right here. Um, it starts, I believe, March 3rd, I think. I, of course, did not write that down. I am going to use the 36 count milk and honey for this again. I did share that I am not using the called for floss. I picked my own. Um, I have listed those colors down below. I've shared it on Instagram and on Facebook with the colors listed out. If you want to do a different color palette and you like this one, you can definitely copy what I'm doing. And I do want to mention that the donations from the community, this is Fat Quarter Shop's free quilt and stitch along for 2023 where they raise money for Make-A-Wish. Their goal is $100,000 to Make-A-Wish. And I think when I talked last week, I can't remember where we were at. When I first started talking about this, we were at about 12,000. And now I looked right before I did this video, they are at $18,436. And when they get to the first milestone of $20,000, they will release the requirements for the stitch along and um, or they'll release the cross stitch supplies list and then the fabric requirements for the quilt along. So, so awesome. So they'll release all of those for both stitch along and quilt along and definitely check it out. Uh, I am going to be stitching mine. I have mentioned I'm going to stitch mine just a little different, which I will share once we get started, but it's a great time to maybe gather up some things that you want to use, uh, for that and just be thinking about it. All right, that is it for upcoming cells. I am on to page three. We're on to our final page. So the next thing I want to talk about is an kind of save the date. Uh, Friday, Chantal did a shop with me live where she shops from Hobby Lobby live and does it live. And I love it. I think it's really great for those who maybe need a little bit more inspiration, like how to shop, what to buy to do your finishing. She's amazing at it. And I absolutely love her shop with me's, but she also kind of gave a little teaser that you're going to want to stay tuned to all of her social media channels and everything this, this week, because there's going to be a save the date. She's going to have her first uh, 141 retreat, September 8th, 9th, and 10th with a special guest designer that you are not going to want to miss. Um, and it's going to be more than likely, unless I go somewhere before then, which I have no plans to, it will be my first stitchy retreat. I am going to go. Um, so I'm really, really excited. I can't hardly wait. I so excited to take a class from this, uh, from the guest designer, um, and just be inspired. So, uh, stay tuned for that. I'm sure more details will come this week and I will repost them as Chantal releases them, but save the date for September 8th, 9th, and 10th of 2023. The next thing I want to talk about, uh, I joined a Patreon. <laughs> I have a Patreon for my card making, uh, but I joined one this week. I noticed, uh, or I got a, a newsletter notice from Liz Matthews, from Hello from Liz Matthews, that she started a Patreon. And so I joined one of the tiers. I joined what, I wanna make sure I call it the right thing, Pattern Stashers. Um, she has, I think, four tiers, if I'm not mistaken, and you can always upgrade or downgrade as you want to, but it's a great way to support your favorite designers, and I will have a link in the description if you would like to check it out and see if you want to join. I joined Pattern Stashers, and these are the patterns for this month. Obviously, um, I, I can't show you the patterns, but she has shown these on the pictures of what you get on social media. I think they're super cute. I love both of them and I'm excited to stitch them. So I did join that, um, just uh, supporting somebody that I really, really enjoy. Uh, next thing, and 
make sure you sign up for these designers newsletters. That's how I found out about that. I know she posted on social and stuff, but that's how I found out first. The other thing, Primrose Cottage does flags on the 4th. I know I've talked about this before. I have stunk at doing flags on the 4th. I didn't even do it in January. I know it's the 5th. We're going to be doing flags on the 5th. That's what Nicole's going to do a little stitching on tonight. Oh, sorry. Um, because I didn't get it done yesterday. But if you're part of their newsletter, you get like Lindsay's latest release uh, from that. Otherwise, you have to purchase it. So sign up for the newsletters because a lot of times there's like little bonuses and little extras and little good things and you learn um, great things ahead of time. So I would highly recommend just joining or signing up for your favorite designers newsletters. Um, so the flags on the fourth, the latest edition. I think I can just show this. I love, whoops, the 1776. I think it's so cute. So uh, the hashtag to use here is flags on the fourth, which I'll put across the screen. And hopefully I'll have something to show you uh, here next week. But I did want to mention that again. And Primrose Cottage. Lindsay did like a little impromptu Instagram live this last week. And she was finishing a project that's going to be for Nashville Market. I'm dying. I have to have it. <laughs> um, in fact, I hope that my L I need to, I need to contact her, my LNS this week. Cause I know they, they get the Primrose Cottage releases, but I just need to request they hold that, uh, stitchy B chart for me. Cause I'll be in, right in to buy it as soon as they get it <laughs> from market. So I need to uh, email her, and let her know that I want it. It is so cute. It's going to go with all my other B stuff, which my big Hive Rules paddle board is behind my computer here on my desk being finished. So I'm just finishing up my bows for it right now. I'm so excited to share that with you guys. Okay, that's it for all of that. I do want to, I, I said I didn't really have haul. I don't, but I am going to do an unboxing right now. We are going to unbox the Fat Quarter Shop Cupid's Box. This is their limited edition 2023 Cupid's Box. It is sold out. I can share with you what's in it, so you can't purchase this, um, so I'm not gonna put a link, but this will be part of my giveaway, but I do wanna do a little unboxing and show you guys what you are gonna, potentially what you could win. Um, they always do such a cute little packaging. This has a promo code on the back that's good through March 15th. So um, when when I put this up and I announce the winner next week, let me know super fast so you can get that. Okay, there's always a cute, cute pattern. Look at that pattern. This is the finished size of the little quilt. This is the heartstrings pattern. So you get the pattern. You get, I'm sure this is not called a jelly roll because this is Riley Lake fabric. Maybe I should pull the insert out so I can tell you. This is the XOXO 20 piece, two and a half strip roll from Heather Lee Chan for Clothworks. Oh, it's from Clothworks. Um, yeah, it says it right on there, Nicole. Oops. Really cute, cute. Look at that. Look at the little hearts. Very cute two and a half inch strips. The value is $24.98. Uh, the pattern is valued at $9.98. I'll tell you the value of everything as we go through here. Then you're going to get the quilt as you go product here, which I have seen some videos using this and it's very interesting. I, I would like to try it sometime. Uh, June Taylor, quilt as you go for the two and a half strip mug mats. It's valued at $9.98. You are going to get a, a spool of 50 weight Aurafil 100% cotton thread. Value 1348, and this is a beautiful pink color. 
it matches everything in the box, of course. All right, let's see. I really, really wanted to keep this, but I'm not going to. You are going to get, oh, here it is, it's on this side. The letter opener by the Featherweight Shop and it's in the shape of a sewing machine. How cute is that? It I really do wanna keep this, but I'm not going to. I've said this one other time <laughs> in the box. And then you are going to get the Magnetic Heart Pincushion Slap Band Bracelet by the Gypsy Quilter. This is a Fat Quarter Shop exclusive, valued at $11.48. So that is what comes in the Cupid's Box. This will be part of the giveaway for today i want to get this into the winner's hand so hopefully you can go ahead and start making something let me go ahead and try to package this up as nice as as it was i don't know if it'll be perfect but it'll be close okay i want to do well i was going to put my glasses on but i want to do a little stitchy mail here before we do our giveaways so I uh, got a card from my friend Jana. Thank you so much, Jana. Got a card here from uh, Catherine. Super, super cute. Thank you, Catherine. She is one of my Patreon members. Got some this awesome finishing piece from Barbara. Barbara, thank you so much. And these have been in the Target dollar spot. So if you have a Target, check it out. If you're looking for a fun finishing piece, look at that heart up there. I'm super excited to uh, finish something on there. Thank you so much, Barbara, for sending that. There's a bill from my accountant. We don't need to see that. That accidentally got put in there. Um, I got this adorable card from my friend, Julie. It's got a little mug shaker. So cute. Thank you so much, Julie. Kelly sent this card. I love Santa on his motorcycle. So funny. So fun. Thank you so much, Kelly. Um, Kathy sent me a thank you card, but she also sent some money for helping with shipping and she sent some stamps. I so appreciate this. Kathy, thank you so, so much. I That means the world to me. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Then I got a beautiful card and note from uh, Kim. Absolutely stunning. Thank you so, so much, Kim. Uh, Christina had some extra patterns that she wanted to share. These are going to be part of my giveaway today as well. Um, I'll, I'm going to give away these separately in case you have one and don't have the others. But there is United We Stand, Established 1776, and Land That I Love. I have stitched all three of these last year. Absolutely love these. Quick, quick stitches. Amazing. Uh, so these will all be included in the giveaways. So let me stick those over there. And again, thank you, Christina, for sending those. That was so sweet of you. I have a lot of stitch email today. I am um, have this card from Carrie. Thank you so much, Carrie. Okay, and then Carolyn had an extra pattern of the big hearted tiny town. Thank you. So this will be in the giveaways today as well. She also sent stamps. 
thank you so, so, so much. Uh, I appreciate it. So amazing. Thank you guys. And that is it for my stitchy happy mail to, or just my happy mail in general, except for that bill from my accountant. That's really not that happy. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go ahead and do this week's, or talk about last week's giveaways. I'll give, uh, announce those. I can't talk, so sorry. And then I'll do this week's giveaways. So all of the giveaways from previous floss tubes have been claimed and everything has been mailed out. Absolutely everything. So if you haven't received it, you should be receiving it pretty soon. Thank you guys. Thank you for getting in touch with me. That helps me so much. So last week's question was, have you been to a stitching retreat? I loved reading all of your questions. I definitely asked that because I knew the announcement from Chantal was coming and I just kind of wanted to see how many people had gone or had interest in going. Uh, just, just to ask because I've never been to one. I've been to a craft retreats and card making retreats and scrapbooking retreats, but I've never been to a stitching retreat. So I'm very excited to, to do that. Um, and it was fun reading all of your answers. So thank you guys. This week's give or last week's giveaway winners. The first giveaway was the um, March Stitching with the Housewives month to month chart only, not the thread pack, just the chart and the matching sticker. That goes to Debbie Dom Domigal. If this is your comment, Debbie please email me at the email down below and I will get that mailed out to you. The second giveaway from last week was the Shannon Christine in the air. This goes to Glenna Reynolds. Glenna, if that is you, please email me and I will get your chart mailed out. And then number three was the Shannon Christine hunting season, which goes to Anita Trippy. Anita, please email me and I will get this mailed out to you. So this week I have five giveaways um, and we're gonna go over just a few things first. You must be a US resident. You must be over 18 because I need your address to ask for your address to mail you your prize. Um, please like and subscribe. I do not make that a condition, but I do appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. I'm getting very close. And we are going to have um, a big party and a big giveaway when that happens, uh, both on my card making side and stitching side. So I'm going to have two kind of separate parties because I think uh, both of those communities have contributed to the channel growth. And I appreciate you guys so, so very much. So thank you for subscribing. It means the world to me. And it definitely helps uh, helps me keep bringing you more content here on YouTube. So without further ado, this week's giveaways, um, leave a com in your comment, leave the numbers that you're interested in. So there's five giveaways you can, don't put all, uh, don't write giveaway, Put one, two, three, four, five, or one and five, or three and two, or whatever. Put the ones you're interested in um, and answer this question. I couldn't remember what I wanted to say, but it's written right here. Uh, this week's question, to hoop or not to hoop? That is the question. Do you use a hoop or do you stitch in hand? Let me know down below. And if you use a hoop, what kind of hoop do you use? I want to hear all about it. I stitch in hand. I used to stitch in a hoop, probably just the little cheap Walmart hoop from years and years ago. I have not stitched with a hoop in a very long time, uh, but I would love to know if you do stitch with a hoop. So let me know down below. And without further ado, <laughs> giveaway number one is the Cupid's Box from Fat Quarter Shop Thank you to Fat Quarter Shop for providing this. If you're interested, leave a one in the comment down below. Number two is Big Hearted Tiny Town. If you're interested in Big Hearted Tiny Town, which you saw my progress in this video, leave a comment down below 
and let me just double check. Uh, the buttons are in the chart. Okay? So uh, you get the chart with the little buttons, which I love that Heart and Hand does that. So this is number two. Number three is Primrose Cottage United We Stand. This is the postage stamp series designed by Lindsay of Primrose Cottage. So put a three in the comments if you're interested in that one. Number four is established in 1776. Put a four in the comments if you're interested in this one. And number five is Land That I Love. And put a five in the comments if you're interested in this guy. Okay, you guys, I think that is it. Uh, I will be back again for another floss tube before our first uh, Stitch With Me live for the Stitch Along. So we will definitely um, kind of go over the last minute things. You can jump in at any time as well for any of these sales. Um, so for example, Mad for Plaid started last week and... I don't have the Cosmo floss. I did at that point I had none and I really want to use it. So I'm going to start this week and that's okay. You can start anytime. It's just kind of inspiration and it's really fun to see how other people are stitching and what they're doing. So definitely um, join in, follow the hashtags that I provided in the video. I'm going to try to do a much better job at providing those because it really is fun to search those up on Instagram and see what other people are stitching uh, to get inspiration for fabric choices or maybe they're switching out the floss uh, like I'm going to do for the Bountiful Stitch Along or uh, maybe their finish, you're inspired by their finish or just you see something and you're like, I want to stitch that. So I am going to start adding those. They will be down in the description below. I'm going to put them on the screen and I hope that inspires you. I hope you guys have had a great week. Stay tuned on the 7th. The button tutorial is coming. I'm sorry I didn't get it up this last week. Um, I wanted to add a couple things to it and that's why it didn't go up. <laughs> so yay, that's going to go up soon. Uh, button tutorial Next week, I will have a lot of finishes for you, and um, I'm going to have some quilting for you. I know I've been saying I'm going to come back with quilting. It's in another stack over here of some stuff I've been working on that just isn't really camera ready. <laughs> but I'm going to share that stuff with you next week. So next week's going to be a lot of finishes and fully finishes. So with that being said, I hope you guys have um, enjoyed this. Thank you for spending some of your Sunday with me or whatever day you're watching this. I appreciate you all so, so much. Uh, have some great stitching. Get some great stitching in this week, even if it's just a few minutes a day or one strand of floss a day. I love being able, there's been a couple days where I just don't get much more than maybe 15 or 20 minutes or maybe just one strand of floss. But at the end of the day, or at the end of the project, all of those little minutes add up to a finished project. Thank you guys. I will see you all next time. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click that like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new floss tube stitching or quilting video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.